Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of my uh, Calamity Zenith modes uh, playthrough. And Calamity just updated. Now there's a Grand Marquis bait. And I got this as a quest reward from the, uh, the angler over here. So, yeah, that's even better fish bait now. On the pixies. Here we go. I think we're good. So I'm gonna head over to here. Um, I got a t area adamantite. I keep wanting to call it a, a titanium pick, but I should be able to mine up uh, infernal suavite or whatever it's called, right? If I can find any. Let's see. There we go. Like a clump of that stuff right there. I'm loving the Wither Blossom staff. It's just melting everything on its own. See. Um... Nope, okay. I was looking to see if there's any more, you know, just random boxes. Not really seeing any, though. Head back to here. I'm pretty certain that this doesn't really have any uses until you make it into unholy cores. Right. Ancient altar, ancient basin. Okay. I don't need the surfer poles anymore. I did go ahead and get the chart idol made, so. Um, what am I missing? Ah, more Hellstone. Okay. You know, I never did open this box here. Ah, Sun Fury. Okay. Uh, Hellstone, we have to go a good distance this way to, to get, unfortunately. The center chunk island, or we want to call it, uh, in the underworld here does not have any Hellstone. Get the Flame Lash, okay. Another Sun Fury. God, that was a lot of bombs just went off at once there. Alright, um... We'll come back to that stuff, really, because I need to save some inventory space. I never made a Void Bag. Hmm. Probably not a... Oh, God, here we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and... 
Talk to Levi here about the unholy cores, right? Ruin medallion, okay, rogue. The amalgam. Um, you need cosmite for that. Let's see, yeah. Brimflame boots. Okay, yeah, it's the mage set. Brimrose requires bloodstone. Ashen altar. Ashen accent slab. Okay. Shard idol. Brimrose staff. The anarchy blade. Brimlash, brimstone sword. Brimstone fury, brimblade. And the igneous exaltation. Which could be fun, actually. Because I have, like, nine slots, so... Oh, it was a gastropod up there, okay. Like, what were we just, you know, killing? There we go. Summons blades that spin around you. Right click to launch all blades towards the cursor. Okay, I can hear you, little pixie. Where are you? There you are. Apparently, they're stopped by solid blocks, though, when I launch them. Yeah, they're stopped by solid blocks, okay. Yeah, that kind of makes them not that great, then. Although it does do a number on things that get close, but if they get within the ring of the blades, then I'm pretty much helpless. Um... Well, let's see, I could use the Slime Puppet Staff, the Eye of Magnus, and the Cool Whip to overcome things. I would not want to use this against bosses, though. That just does not seem like it would end well. Unless that boss has, you know, destructible uh, projectiles. And we'll just go ahead and put that away for now. Alright, how about we go here then. And just for kicks, let's just go ahead and bring her in. Oh, hello, what was that? That is a hell of a way to start the fight off. Ow, oh, okay, so yeah, the laser caught me off guard. <laughs> Giant cross laser. Okay. Um further to the left. I've got a little more vertical space to work with over here, even though the ground's not as uh, even. Okay, that was great. Oh, we did it again. Avoid the gigantic laser sign. 
Oh, you want the eater of plankton, huh? Okay, oh, I missed the end of it. Dang it. She turns into a real bullet hell at the end. Uh, starts firing off freaking treble claps from the siren. She starts, yeah, all sorts of... Okay. <laughs> Got the heart of the elements out of that. Really? I'm not really going to argue. I was thinking actually about farming up the Heart of the Elements, and this just made things so much easier. Uh, let's see, I think four of them attack, and then this one here, the Rare Sand Elemental, uh, heals you, so. Mechanical Eye, don't need that. And we got the Rose Stone, okay. Which is one part of Heart of the Elements. Seething Discharge. Uh, we got the Charred Relic, okay, which is a pet. Kind of about it. Huh? I'm going to have to turn this lady up, I guess. Uh, Brimstone. Yeah, I want the Dormant Brim Seeker. Alright, oh, yeah, this is what she does. And then this, and... Okay. Ugh. <laughs> it is a little bit easier. Because I have the uh, rare elemental here healing me a bit. Uh, get another heart of the elements. What is Reforge my Intrepid, okay. Yeah, I should do something about that. Need those... Don't need that either, really. That down. Okay. Another suit. Dang it. Another charred relic. Another rose stone. Another seething. The exact same thing as last time. So I think it's time we finally bid adieu to the twins. They have served us well so far, but we finally got something that is stronger. Yep, yeah, whenever you fill out your minion slots, you summon one of these guys that empowers your Brim Seekers and shoots fireballs. Which is quite awesome. And. Uh, okay, well, there's a mysterious trader here first. Hey, Indigo. You got. Um, Alright, okay. Didn't we have a traveling merchant here too, somewhere? I got only knows where. I need to get everybody out of the floating islands and into a more centrally located base. All right. Okay, you spawned in the wrong spot, wrong side. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go away. It works better if you don't forget about the, uh, the ceiling of the world. Ah, he's just so much faster than I am. I can't get away. Um...
Trying to think of ways I can speed up. I can't upgrade my boots yet. Because I have to beat him to upgrade my boots. Maybe wings? Yeah, Loki's wings are going to be just the same as your razors, so... Something with a higher horizontal speed would be great. Nope. Uh, yes. The only benefit, though, is for melee damage. It's not like your razors actually gives me any bonus at all, so... Starlight, 7.5. The Flame Wings. I'm trying to think if there's any other um, wings I might be able to have access to right now. Alright, so I was doing some reading on Mechdusa and whatnot. The stupid thing enrages during the day, still. Like no other boss does, but Magnusa. So, I haven't gone back to look at all the videos yet to see what time of day I was trying to fight him. But I imagine most of the times, it was during the day. So he just showed up and was auto-enraged. But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, we did get the Brimstone Elemental down. We got new summons. And we get the Heart of the Elements, which is awesome. Got. I found the uh, the Mystic Frog as well, so we now have the Mystic Slime little guy running around. Oh, as a tortoise. I do not see a turtle shell around there, though. Oh my god, that's ah, a jungle mimic. Nope. And I just hit a dart trap, too. Welcome to the chaos that is trying to use all of this stuff at once. Wah! <laughs> oh, I hate it when something big like that shows up that takes forever to die. Um, there it goes. Where the hell did I get Pearlstone bricks from? Oh, it's a regular mimic, okay. Um, don't need that. Those. I think that, yeah, I'm pretty sure that the jungle mimic dropped all of this crap. <laughs> just so many different types of blocks. <laughs> it just keeps going. Oh, hell, there's another one right there. Ow. Oh, yeah, it just... It's an inventory bomb is what it is. Oh, frick. Well, thanks for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until the next one. The sign signing out. Have fun.